हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टाडा डाडा आर्ट क्लब एंड हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ स्केचिंग चैलेंज यस एंड दिस इज द नाइन्थ डे ऑफ माय चैलेंज एंड टुडे टॉपिक आई एम गोन डू द एनिमल स्केच दैट इज आल्सो अ कंगारू so yes uh, i am vijay and i uh, here on this channel i share lot of drawing tips sketching tips perspective tips regularly yes welcome again and today's topic as i said the animal i choose kangaroo is a very flexible animal he hop so fast you can't believe it it has a the identity is like a small head a big a body and specifically the long long the back legs let's go to the board and let's see what the references we have and we can study in very much detail like how the structure of his body how dimensionally you can see that so let me start but before that i would like to uh, ask you if you are new for my channel please subscribe my channel and press notification bell icon so you will get all the updates about my channel on regular basis if you are interested knowing more about my online courses please uh, write me on my email id my email id is given in description so let's start wow see that beautiful animal you can see on the screen that reference it's amazing it's the kind of hop he is doing and that is the action we going to capture now with this our sketching and we going to do some study with the that okay as i see that the if i start the head here somewhere so this is the line of head then the neck portion and then the body portion and then it is the a leg portion so it just rhythmic you can see this rhythm i can follow the entire body is very important to capture those line of actions and if you follow this is the tail again something like this so it's a very nice rhythmic postures we get to see in this and yes we start with the dimensionally here so as i see here is the one cubical box i start with which is i feel the head of kangaroo and there is attached another more or less cubical or you can say cylindrical also so that is the uh, box what we seen here and this is the uh, a jaw line and from here i can see that the neck so neck portion is again it's it's something 
दिस राउंडिटी And this go completely down here. So this is a cylindrical format, and this is the three four. So this is the center line. So you can see this. there is a white or light shade patch on his neck the more important about his ears is has the a uh, long ears so you can compare this length of his forehead so almost a little longer than that and the ears also has the roundity something like this the inside portion with curvature exactly opposite and here what we can see is the another ear so you can see the back side of this ears because it's exactly they are in the opposite direction and that the roundity will be something like this of that ear so yes i guess that is what the head portion and is the eyes are somewhere here in the cross a small eyes it has so we are done with the head portion you can see that there is a dimension proper a cubical form here you can see it and there is a small dark patch on this side here okay so now i'll start making the a middle body part so comparatively it start from here let's go up and i have to calculate the distance if the neck is this distance so 1 2 3 4 like 1 so this is approximately a distance i can see of the body part so it's go the bone is go up here its curvature bend and again the hip portion or leg portion this is the bone where it is actually again we'll come to here as this is the 3/4th body part 
it's going down here the curvature like something I can see it from here I can say this going down this way the body part and you can see a little portion of here this that's why the the dimensionality of three fourth a body and here is the the hand front legs or hand you can say is the attach here and other one on that side so this if attached here and with the curvature is going little back turn so maybe this bone is something like this so one attach here this other one and the roundity is like this is going inside this is this way its structure and then it's turned to the back side and after this fold it's coming in the front so this is the angle So you can see this is a band, a nice band for the bone band, you can see it. see the other hand so that bone also is coming out so if you see from here that the other bone part we can see and this is the bone part is going up so yes that is the structure here and you can simply follow the a negative space here so these hands are joined together so you can see this is a cross and then the bone here similarly is you can show this so it's going inside like this again like the this muscles so this is also the muscle and here also this is coming sort of this so dimension wise the cylinder will come in this shape and here this muscle is attached and this is the structure what you can see the fingers of palm is folded inside in that also you can actually show this dimension and here also the roundity of this portion so 
So this way the front part of kangaroo's body we done with. Now we'll come to the back portion of body. So yes, as I said, if I draw the straight line from here, so this is the curvature muscle part is coming here. And so this is the bone structure. The, uh, the back leg is quite long, it's like comparatively the entire body you can see that's prominently you can see those legs. And here is the bone structure, you can see double bone, so here is one bone, that is the back side, so it's little curvature there also, there is a depth and after that with curvature. You can see this. So this is the roundity. These are the hoops. can see a little curvature like this to the body. I will come to this leg which is actually starting from here you can see actually this line so it must be on this other side legs it's attached here and here you can see a little space. This can be a more straight and if this is there, so this is the point where it should come. See this here on this leg you can see it's the the width is getting reduced and again here it is little bulge So that is the back leg, 
This is quiet area is in shadow. It's muscles and I will go to the tail. So tail is actually starting from here. Going inside and from this area it's coming out. hardly see from this side so it is turned and here it could be something like this round ET yeah so i done almost this thing i just erase some of the double lines and all and we can clear so i will darken this little bit of this sketch So yes guys that is the <coughs> first sketch what we done with and let's go for the other one. So this is the uh, other reference we have. I purposely choose uh, this specific reference. The reason is it has a quite a body twist. The complete body twist you can say. So that is very important and to understand so again i will start from here of the head I, now i'll just very quickly i can show this sketch so these are the roundity of neck is exactly more or less profile of kangaroo
Now the real twist is start from here. This the body of this is actually the cylindrical form, and that cylinder is going turning like this backside. So it's like this cylinder and this is another cylinder and this is twisting cylinder like this way so you can see the twist inside of the body so if that is the head and from there this body portion start hand portion start and here what you can see the curve line complete curve lines is coming down and from this head again is the body portion So this is the cylindrical thing which is what I am talking about the twist of the body. And here it is the roundity wise. Something going like that. This is the muscle here. The hands are coming out in this way so this is again the muscle of this leg it's going inside here so that's why the the portion is stucking out here and again it's coming to this portion where the other hand is so quite good turn is there in the body which is very important to understand and able to draw and here exactly this bone backbone the muscle of back leg it's starting here and exactly like a straight like a firmly pillar you can say it So you can see these bone lines here. exactly in the 90 degree is this is the you can see it And same way the other side legs
So you can see this is the angle what the ground level angle I can see here and now we'll come to the the tail part it's very broad tail so in that also you can see the roundity and the dimensions I'll just fine tuning the ears and the, some of the details. I like this ear part is quite interesting. So yes guys that is what the sketching for today and we very fantastically we did the uh, kangaroo sketching. I hope you also liked it as much as I liked making or doing the sketching. So if you have any queries about uh, today's session please write it in the comment box and let me know so I will be able to connect back as soon as possible. So yes guys again if you are not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and support me pressing by a notification bell icon also and we'll see you tomorrow with much more interesting sketching sessions till the time bye bye and have a nice day.